You know, over the last uh, few weeks, we've been asking you to let us know about your favorite morning spots, the best places to get breakfast, or even just a cup of coffee. We've got some really great suggestions, and we want to thank everybody who sent in a nomination. Now it's time to find out who the winners are. To help us do that, good morning, Alabama's Melissa Rianca is live at our first Viewer's Choice location. Melissa, it's so secret, I don't even know where you are at this point. <laughs> where are you? <laughs> we, we kept it very, very quiet, Tracy, but we're going to let it the cat out of the bag now. We are at Salem's Diner in Homewood. Salem's got several nominations, including one from a guy who said that the regulars here go by the name Salem's Lot, and they solve the world's problems every day over a cup of coffee and a couple of eggs or maybe even what I have in front of me, a Western omelet. We stopped by and met a few of the regulars last week. Sunny side up eggs, some toast, and bacon with grits or hash browns. It's awesome. Rick Averett eats at Salem's Diner a couple of times a month. When Joe Shivenitz eats here a couple times a week. Oh, man, I order anything from uh, omelets, the Western omelet. Um, the Philly cheesesteak is awesome for lunch, you know, all the food. But more than anything, the atmosphere and just Wayne is awesome. Wayne is Wayne Salem, son of Ed Salem. In 1950, the same year he was named an All-American in Alabama, Ed opened his first drive through over the years, the family has owned several restaurants in the Birmingham area. In 2006, Salem's Diner came to Homewood, where it quickly gained a reputation for serving up breakfast just like Mom used to make. Or maybe not. Oh, this is definitely better than what my mom used to make. I love you, Mom. Oh, I love my mom, too, and she made some pretty mean omelets. But, Tracy, i got to tell you, nothing like this. This Western omelet, it has got onions, tomatoes, pepper, bacon, sausage, Ham. Could you ask for anything more in an omelet? Uh, no. no. Uh, Except, I, I, like Wayne said, maybe a cardiologist sitting next yeah, to you, you know, when you eat it. You know, Melissa, <laughs> I, I'll tell you that that is one of the few things that actually translates very nicely on TV. I can see you got something good in front of you there. I do. All right. Hey, Melissa, we'll get back with you again in a few minutes. 541 now. And you know, we spent the last couple of weeks searching for some of the best breakfast spots around central Alabama. And over the next few days, we will be visiting some of your suggestions. Our first viewer's choice winner is in Homewood. Good morning, Alabama's Melissa Riopka is live at Salem's Diner. Melissa, have you joined Salem's Lot yet? Oh, you know, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to sign up for my membership card because I can definitely see what makes this place so popular with the regulars. Salem's has only been in Homewood for two years, but it is no stranger to awards and accolades. In fact, that is not just because of its breakfast. When you're in the restaurant business like Wayne Salem, you meet a lot of people. Last year, he met comedian and talk show host Craig Ferguson. He was hungry. It was 12 o'clock, and he saw a diner. He walked in, and we were packed. So anyway, I'm in Homewood, and I went to this place called Salem's Diner. And I walked in the door, and they're like, hey, it's the guy from TV. And I was like, wow, that was very flat. And then a couple of minutes later, a guy comes in, and they go, hey, it's the guy from the hardware store. They do it to Ferguson was in town to do a show at Birmingham Stardome. I put them on my Philly cheesesteak. That's my signature sandwich. That's my go-to sandwich. Two days later, Ferguson's late night show put Salem's in the national spotlight. But I had an experience at this diner that shook me to the core, right? This diner in Alabama had the best Philly cheesesteak I've ever tasted. <laughs> And I include Philadelphia. Pretty good publicity, but nothing Salem's regular customers didn't already know. The meat, the peppers, the onions, the cheese, I mean, it's just, it's good. It melts in your mouth when you take a bite. Da -da -da -da. Here is the famous Philly cheesesteak. Uh, Wayne fixed this up one already. He says you can get this anytime that Chris back it up. Chris has already claimed this one, and we will let him have it. But for the rest of you coming up in our next half hour, Wayne is going to show us what makes this Philly cheesesteak so good. Tracy? Melissa, I knew uh, Wyatt and I were going to have to fight Chris over that sandwich. <laughs> so, uh, the There's fight... not going to be anything left. You... I can go ahead and tell you right now. I, I believe you completely. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, we'll see you in a few minutes. All right. 6.09 now. Over the last couple of weeks, we've been asking you to let us know about your favorite morning spots, the best places to get breakfast, or even just a cup of coffee. So now it is time to find out. Who are the winners? Good morning, Alabama's Melissa Ryapka is live at our first Viewer's Choice location. Now, let's see, Melissa, you're in Homewood. Where would you be? We are at Salem's Diner, Pam, and we are back here with Wayne Salem and his right-hand man, Mauricio. They just cooked up some fantastic-looking French toast and sausage for us. It looks great. Wayne, I know breakfast made you a viewer's choice, but it's actually something else that made you 
My Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, steak. your Philly cheesesteak. That kind of puts you on the national map. Didn't Craig it? Ferguson really helped put me on the national map. And this is our Philly cheesesteak right. right here. We do some sautéed onions, sautéed peppers. We do a breakaway sirloin steak. Put a little cheese on there, Mauricio. With a little uh, white American cheese. We do it on a toasted hoagie. It's, uh, yeah, it's really been a go-to for me. You know, we do also, at lunch, I do a uh, grilled tilapia over a Mediterranean rice. If anybody likes grilled fish, I feel like I do the best fish in the city. So you said there's something uh, a little bit for everybody. If, you, if you're a more That's healthy right. type That's eater, right. you can Everything get this. Everything from soup to nuts here. You know, we have great burgers, dogs, fillies. If you're on a certain kick, I do the grilled tilapia over a Greek salad. Or I do it over a Mediterranean rice, grilled chicken the same way. So a lot of soups, salads, but great burgers, dogs, and fillies. And this made it on the national spotlight because you said Craig Ferguson was in town for a show, came in here, you turned him on to the Philly, right. and man, he loved it so much he put it in his monologue. He absolutely did. He spent the first four minutes of his <laughs> monologue on the restaurant. And, you know, we're as proud of it as anything we're ever done, we've ever done. Yeah, it's been real good to us. Well, you should be very proud that you're also one of our viewers' choices for the favorite morning spots. Thanks for letting us come and hang out and have some of this great food. So I don't know, what do you guys think? Breakfast, lunch, it's a hard choice. All of it. All of it. All of the above. Okay. I vote breakfast. I, I okay. Don't. I like the tilapia. Thank we'll you. We'll save that for you then, Pam. Okay. Awesome. You know, we have spent the last couple of weeks searching for some of the best breakfast spots around central Alabama. And over the next few days, we're going to be visiting some of your suggestions. And our first viewer's choice winner is in Homewood. Good morning, Alabama's Melissa Riafka is live at Salem's Diner on 18th Street South. Hey, Melissa. Good morning, Tracy and Pam. Well, Salem's has only been open for about five or ten minutes, but the place is already pretty full. And two of these guys in one booth are definite regulars around here. That's David Moore and Mitch Nelson. David, you've been here since very early this morning, a good buddy of Wayne's, I know. And what, what keeps you coming back besides the food? You know, Wayne's place is like the Cheers Bar. You come here, everybody knows your name, first time customers come in. When you leave, he knows your name. You come back again, he knows your name. It's just a great place to be. All right, and Mitch, what about you? Well, the food's excellent, but it's the atmosphere what uh, David said. I mean, you know, if you got a problem, you bring it to us in the mornings. We'll solve it for you right here. <laughs> I was going to say, on our one of our uh, on our viewers' choice nominations, they said that you guys truly do solve the world's problems over a cup of coffee and a couple of eggs. So that's really all it takes for world peace. Either that, or everybody in town will know about your problem by that <laughs> afternoon. One or the other. So we're good. <laughs> All right, well, Mitch, David, thanks for letting us uh, pull up to your booth. We're going to let you eat your breakfast in peace. And we do want to thank everyone who sent their nominations. Had a great time at Salem's Diner this morning. Uh, as Tracy said, you can find them on 18th Street South. Hours are 6.30 in the morning till 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They're open for breakfast and lunch. I showed you guys that great Philly cheesesteak last half hour. And, yes, I am bringing one back to the station. So go ahead and make the circle of death and fight it out amongst yourselves. You talk about a newsroom melee. It's going to be a fight. Oh, it's not going to be pretty. Hey, I've got a list of troubles for those guys. We'll share it with them later on today. Maybe they can help me out here. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Melissa. But, you know, we've received...